From the Boston Bruins, we have head coach Bruce Cassidy. Media, please raise your hand if you have a question. We'll start with Matt Porter from the Boston Globe. No hand, Matt. Okay, we'll go to Matt Vitor, Mass Live. No hand for you either, Matt. Questions for the coach? We'll go to Mike Loftus, Patriot Ledger. Go ahead, Mike. Kevin DuPont, Boston Globe. Butch, I know, I know you can't share much in terms of the nature of Pasta's injury, but can you give us an idea whether it was close and, and if you think this is going to be a long time? Uh, Kevin, um, first off, I'd like to start by um, wishing Claude, you know, Julian a, a healthy and speedy recovery. I know he, he was in hospital overnight. I don't have a lot of details, but on behalf of the coaching staff, uh, players, and the whole Bruins organization, we're, we're wishing him uh, – like I said, a healthy recovery, and our best goes out to Karen and the kids. Um, as for Pasta, um, he was um, uh, questionable uh, from the game yesterday afternoon, um, this morning, and he was getting treatment, um, unfit to participate. Uh, we don't believe it'll be long-term, Kevin. That's a day-to-day -day thing, uh, we hope. Uh, so obviously targeting uh, Saturday at noon. Um, but until we see him tomorrow and a tough Saturday noon because um, it's tough to test it, you know, um, get out skating in a morning skate type of thing. So um, it'll probably be right down to the game time again on Saturday. Ludo Chinzawa from The Athletic. Bruce, Carolina had some extended pressure in your zone. What do you think your players could have done better to relieve that pressure? Well, we are both goals. We had the puck uh, or the last goal sequence a couple times there, even that. Uh, Goal interference, you know, young winger had the puck, uh, flipped it. You know, you, you got you, you to punt on those situations, Fluto, and live to fight another day. Puck's got to clear the zone when you're running around. Um, you know, I think Jake had the other one, and then, you know, they didn't sort out with Kretsch and Cash, and ends up in the back of our net. So, those, you know, those pucks, you got to find a way to, to live to fight another day. Um, you know, because that's a pretty good opportunity. Tough one for Tuca, like that plunger play. Uh, Dougie shoots the puck pretty well. So I think that's just uh, what happened in those breakdowns. Um, and then the Feshnikov goal, we, it was a goalie rim. You know, they did a good job in the forecheck all night, and we um, we didn't return to our spots, and they hit a seam in our, in our coverage, which we were really good at uh, game one. Didn't allow a lot of those opportunities. Uh, tonight, they, they found some ways in there. They were a little more determined to get in there, and they, they got some goals as a result. John Waro from the Associated Press. Uh, yeah, Bruce, uh, just you're, you're probably expecting some pushback after, you know, from the Hurricanes after what happened in game one. How do you see the, the effort and how does this series match up now that you've seen them, you know, play a better game? Yeah, I mean, most teams that uh, don't feel they gave their best in a, in a game in the playoffs usually bounce back the next night. That's why they're good teams. That's why they're in the playoffs. So we certainly expected that. We expected a heavier four check. We got it, uh, handled it well at times. Other times we didn't. Um, but at the end of the day, I thought our start was fine. I defended pretty well, uh, fixed some of our power play problems. Um, but unfortunately, like I said, the five on five sorting out and second chance return to your spots, be hard on a puck to get a clear. And like I said, you know, get, get the next group over there and sort of reclaim the momentum. Uh, we weren't as good as we were opening night, give them credit. Um, and, and obviously, you know, some things we need to do better as well. Tara Sullivan from the Boston Globe. You may have kind of just answered it, Bruce, but. I don't know, we always kind of ask this, just a message. You've been in this situation many times, and I know when we say a road team wins, it's obviously a little different the way everything is working this year, but just share a little bit about, you know, what you want the approach to be going into game three. Well, I mean, it's our turn to push back, right? We, um, we feel there's, we're, we're a good team, Tara, at correcting things that as we go along that we feel that um, hurt us the game before. So obviously we'll look at why we give up some goals from the interior. Uh, better puck support on breakouts. Uh, how do we limit them getting through the neutral zone to get on the four check? So it usually starts at one end, leads down to the other. 
Um, having said that, I think we had some good looks as well. I mean, right before it was 2-2, I think Charlie went down and, and we had a good screen in the power play and he was a little off net and then Dougie hits the net and for them and it ends up being the difference game. Even Tori Late uh, had a, a couple in the slot. So some defense, uh, the defense were involved a little more today. They happened to bury one. We had some looks we didn't. So um, and then we'll look at the rest of the game. Uh, like I said, how we can correct being a little bit better uh, from the middle of the ice out um, in terms of the scoring chances we give up from there. We'll do one more for Coach Mike Loftus from the Patriot Ledger. Bruce, you um, you did you did have Anders with uh, with Patrice and, and Brad, you know, for the couple of weeks during during the practices at Warrior. Uh, did you, from what you saw tonight, if you have to go with that again, is that still your best option on that line? And what did, what did you think of them as five on five tonight? Well, you know, it started well for Anders. I mean, he he um, found himself all alone in the slot like the other night. Um, those are two grade A chances back to back nights. When you're talking about a first line player, typically. Uh, you're going to force the goalie to make a real good save. So that's where we want Anders to grow in those opportunities. Um, he's been working hard on his shot, and, and I'm sure he'd like to have it back. Uh, having said that, he hit the net. Uh, Reimer made a good save. Uh, forced a nice turnover to put Kretsch in all alone the second period. If Kretsch scores on that one, who knows, right? It's 2 nothing game. You don't know how it's going to go over there. I mean, I like Carolina's will. I think they they would have pushed back, but um, like I said, I you know he, he did some good things. Like I said, on the the one play in the D zone at the end, just need him to be a little harder in certain situations. There was one in the first uh, or second period as well that he turned away from it the other night. The first goal uh, got on the wrong side of it. So these are some little things that just every play matters in the playoffs, and there's some growth for him. It's his second playoff game. So some really good stuff and some stuff to learn from. So we're okay with that. Uh, but Mike, I don't know what the bet, the best fit is because Kasha was played really well with uh, Kretschy and DeBrusque. So we didn't want to mess with that. So then it becomes Wagner. Does it become Kuhlman? Those are other right wingers. Do you dip into Jack Stadnika who, you know, played in the round Robin, but this is a different animal. Do you move Charlie Coyle up and, and, uh, put a center in the lineup like Lindholm. Those are all the things we, we um, went through, uh, Mike, to, to look at the options. We decided we'll go with Cooley. He played for us last year in the playoffs and just bump Anders up. I thought it had its moments and other times, uh, like I said, it could have been better. So, um, but you don't replace Pasta. Uh, you know, he's, he's a 48 goal scorer, 49 now. So we just hope someone can go in there and, and play with, you know, to the best of their ability and, and hope it will, you know, and, and you, you feel it'll work out in your favor. And like I said, we'll, we'll take another look at it and see what we come up with Saturday. Coach, thank you for your time. All right, thank you.